Hi everyone, this is a uh, short video on using Chirp to program uh, today a uh, Baofeng UV5R, but uh, any radio using Chirp uh, will work the same way. So we click on the Chirp icon here, we'll open up our Chirp program. Uh, you always want to uh, read before write for your uh, radio. You want to read the radio first because they may have uh, different software versions and you don't want to program the wrong software version into uh, your radio. So you click on radio, download from radio. I'm using port 23, that's just what uh, my uh, computer uses. Um, yours may be a little bit different, you have to kind of configure your uh, computer with your cable. So it's cloning, well it's cloning. Um, just want to let you know that this is for informational purposes only. Um, transmitting uh, any frequency on a ham radio without a license is illegal and can uh, uh, FCC can fine you $10,000 or more. Okay, so we have our frequencies here. And so this is a uh, Baofeng UV5R. This is our frequency list. And say so you want to uh, program in new frequencies um, go to file. Um, I, use, I like to go to recent because I do a lot of programming. Um, we'll say we want to use uh, selection 8 here, which is uh, US FRS and GMRS channels. Um, so we'll say we'll click on that. We'll open up a second window. These are our new channels. This is the current configuration. Um, we'll click on first channel, press and hold shift, click on the bottom channel, it'll highlight everything, press the delete key, and I've deleted uh, everything off there. I go over to my uh, second frequency list, the generic uh, FRS and GMRS channels. I'll select one, Press and hold shift, and all 22 channels here. I'm going to right click and press copy. Go back to the uh, original program that I pulled off the radio just now. Right click and paste. And now I have all these frequencies uh, in the radio here. You go to radio, upload to radio, or uh, control U. Click on that. Again, port, uh, COM port 23. Click OK. And it starts uploading. Uh, the uh, FRS and GMRS channels, and uh, even the MURS or any other frequency, uh, needs to be in uh, the appropriate. Uh, type radio. Uh, the the Baofengs uh, aren't the appropriate type radio. You can get fined again. Um, FRS needs to be less than 500 milliwatts. That's not that's less than a watt um, without a uh, detachable antenna and some other stipulations. Uh, GMRS uh, licensing is 65 dollars down from 90 uh, for the for uh, a uh, five year license. Uh, but they're considering dropping that uh, cost of an actual FCC license uh, is pretty pricey at uh, 450 for 10 years, $400 renewal, and 139 for each additional you want. Okay, so getting back. Uh, so these channels are now programmed in the uh, bail thing. Uh, if you want to go to settings, actually, we'll go to the top part first. Uh, memory range, uh, I put in we had initially had problems with uh, this being defaulted at one or uh, zero, which gave us a zero channel. Um, I changed it to one, so you're actually starting on channel one, not channel zero, um, which may make stuff a little easier. Um, this is the uh, right here is the top range, so right now we could put in up to 127 channels um, in this radio. These uh, 
options don't worry about. Um, go from memories down to settings. Basic settings, uh, carrier squelch is what the radio will open up at, uh, how weak the signal can be before it opens up your radio to listen. Um, you can make it down zero, but then as you turn the radio on, all you're gonna hear is um, until someone transmits. Um, default is three, um, and that gives us pretty good uh, quality. Uh, anything below that, you may get a lot of real scratchy stuff that you can't hear anyways, um, even if someone's transmitting. Uh, battery saver option. Um, the uh, radio will shut off temporarily to extend the battery life. Um, you can turn this off and just have the radio on all the time. Um, you're going to shorten up the life of your battery. Um, you can have 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. Um, 1 to 3 is what we've been using and it, it works pretty well. Backlight time is how many seconds the uh, uh, light in the screen stays on after you've pressed the keypad. Uh, beep enable. Um, every time you press something, turn something, it'll beep. It's annoying. Uh, timeout timer. Right now this is 60 seconds. Um, this is good if uh, you're accidentally leaning on your mic. Uh, after 60 seconds, it will shut the radio off. Um, good thing to have. 60 seconds maybe even a little long. Um, you know, think about your longest transmission that you're liable to make. Um, you could make it 15, 30 seconds and probably be okay as long as you're not reading a book over the, over the air. Uh, display mode A and B, that's the top and bottom uh, frequencies. Um, I actually like putting this to uh, name and this will give you an actual uh, uh, alphanumeric uh, name on there instead of the frequency. It's easier to uh, say a name than to run, out, run down a frequency. It's less liable to uh, have confusion if you're trying to say uh, you know, go to go to RRH uh, 15 versus uh, go to 467.1255, um, which could be uh, lost or misconstrued. Uh, uh, LED display color. Um, I've been using orange, which uh, is real non-intrusive. Uh, blue is a little bit too bright. Purple, you know, I don't like purple, uh, but orange is nice. Uh, receive LED and transmit LED um, the uh, receive LED uh, I'm not generally going to be looking at the radio so I uh, keep that off less light uh, less uh, less chance of being discovered uh, transmit um, I set it to orange you don't have a, a big uh, variation of what colors we can use in this one um, so if I'm wondering if I'm transmitting or not Hit the hit the uh, press the talk button. Look at the radio. Um, I'll have a little orange light. You can turn that off if you wanted to. Uh, Roger beep. That means every time you press the button, uh, at the end of it, you get a beep, and that's annoying to I think all users in the system. Going down to advanced settings here. Fox setting is off. Um, that was recommended. Um, uh, alarm mode is supposed to be at sight. Uh, other settings. This is something I uh, I, to, I play around with too. Um, po uh, six plus power on. Um, when you have your Beofing radio and you uh, press and hold six and turn the power on, you get the uh, version number. And this isn't really the true uh, software version, but um, this is the number that comes up when you do that. Power on message. Uh, one and two. You can change this to anything. Um, I've been putting my name in here. Um, although you, ha you do have a uh, limited number of characters you can put in. So when the when the the uh, radio powers on, it says "says radio," and I'll keep it on message. Uh, don't worry about this stuff. Uh, work mode. Um, when you go to work mode, you get the uh, uh, VFO or uh, MR mode. Um, this again, if you put it on channel, um, 
you'll get an actual name. If you put it on frequency, you'll get a uh, a uh, frequency number, a frequency number. Um, FM preset, if you have a favorite radio frequency, you can uh, change that in here for your FM frequency. Um, DTMF and uh, service settings, uh, we don't need. Uh, so that's it. Um, and we'll, we made some changes on this. So we will again upload to uh, radio. It's okay. And it's uploading again. So this is a fairly short video. I hope uh, it uh, made sense and you don't have any questions. So let's upload it again and it uh, looks like everything's working. You have uh, uh, alphanumeric uh, frequencies for top and bottom and came on and said uh, Sids Brady when it first turned on as an orange uh, backlit display that lasts about five seconds. And thanks for watching.